Well, hey, YouTube! It's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I want to show you how to purify your lead. In other words, what we do is flux the pot. So what I've done is I've got all this, all these lead ingots in the pot, and I'm now stirring it around. I got it all melted down and there's a couple of nuances about this uh, not not much really it's, it's kind of simple I guess to uh, to all of us that do this a lot and uh, I understand that there's a lot of you new guys out there that uh, that have these questions quite often and it's a lot easier to answer them and sometimes it's simpler when I do a video on on just purifying the lead pot or what we call fluxing the pot and there's different ways of doing this now for your information um, I uh, measured the temperature in this pot right now because I typically like to run the pot hotter when I'm fluxing than when I'm casting the bullets from the lead so right now I measured the temperature and it's at a hundred I mean 860 degrees that's what it's at right now as a matter of fact um, um, for you new guys uh, I probably should be wearing gloves uh, but I've done this so much now one thing I don't do without and that is safety glasses alright so whatever you do you don't do it without those period so anyway, um, so what we do is we scrape this pot and we get all of the impurities off of the pot just by scraping it out very simply. You don't have to go into a lot of detail here. It's not that important. And then when you get this here at the top, um, there's a couple ways. Some of us like to use candle wax. The candle wax, however, will drop in and usually light up and catch on fire but the whole idea here is to use any carbon to flux the pot with and that's why a lot of us like to use sawdust which that's probably my favorite is using sawdust alright so uh, remember though whenever you use sawdust you're better to use sawdust that is not from pressure treated wood because then you don't have to breathe those chemicals that you know fume up from from that sawdust but if you do use it just make sure you're upwind or you have good ventilation and that kind of thing so um, but there is a couple of simpler things um, that I have done in the past like for instance I've been in a jam before it's like man I don't have no sawdust right here where I'm at and uh, so I've simply just grabbed a, uh, a piece of just paper towel like this and all you're doing is adding a little carbon so just a piece uh, this size or less than this size and I'll just drop it in there it's interesting stuff and uh, and then what I'll do a lot of times is I'll just pick up a spoonful and just set it on it because it wants to just float right on the top so I'll cool a spoonful off like this and just set it right on top and you can see how that smoke is just going right out from the, uh, the piece of paper towel and it's going to ignite and burn and that's probably going to be enough flux for just a 20 pound pot just like that alright so and you can let it sit there for a minute but you can see it's already uh, the only thing left here is just uh, impurities that need to be scraped off the top like this so um, and then once you do that you can scrape it you don't have to really stir a lot or anything like that don't go crazy here um, it's just not necessary a little bit of scraping after you do that and then the other thing that we like to do is use sawdust um, which is my favorite and I'll just go ahead and put some of that in there I think wherever I have some sawdust all right but you know just a, a spoonful or a handful just like that 
sawdust just set it right on top I usually spread it out so it'll burn quickly and uh, and that's how it goes just like that and uh, just because it's boiling out of there now I have the uh, I have a door open right here um, so I didn't have to uh, create a lot of a lot of noise here but I also have this uh, very powerful fan right here too so um, it, it won't take but a second to pull all of that out and uh, I have enough ventilation where I don't really need that on for for this portion of the video but um and then you just scrape it around you got the sawdust in there and I generally when I'm scraping this pot I'm gener I'll generally use just a uh, something that I can take this outside with just like a, a little board and I just scrape all this to one side and uh, and remember um, when we're using the this type of a pot like this now I'm, see all that's that's all the just junk that was in there I probably didn't clean it really good whenever whenever I was making the uh, ingots so that's what that's that's more than what I normally would have all right and listen that is good enough okay you don't need to do no more than that now if you want um, if you want to see this is oxidation right here on top okay so I'm just gonna get rid of this junk right here um, I don't really because this this is the uh, this is probably the worst part if you try to breathe this dust right here when it dries when it when it uh, when it hardens so I always get rid of that right away so that's what I'm gonna do so so there we go now what I can do is if you want if you want to uh, to just leave a, a little bit of carbon up here on the top you can do this a lot of people like to go ahead and put a little bit back in there and that's fine now in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the perfect temperature right now this is about 880 uh, oh, I'm sorry 862 is what I'd measured it at um, so now and, and uh, for your information on this particular pot it's set at about seven um, on the dial here um, and typically I would run it if I'm not using any kind of a uh, temperature controller uh, I'll usually run it between four and five closer to five all right so um, in the next video what I'll do is I'll tell you what the perfect temperature for operating and casting is and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll kind of we'll kind of look at that the temp the perfect temperature for for uh, for casting and uh, and and some of the reasons why so anyway this is just going to be a short video on fluxing the pot and uh, getting the impurities out and now what you have here is some people will try to go through and get all of this stuff off now we just added more carbon to the top you don't have to do that this is a bottom pour pot we uh, we already uh, we clean the lead when we make our ingots and um, and then we clean it again in our casting pots and there's really nothing else to do um, all of this right here is just going to stay on top we're going to bring we're going to set the temperature for casting and uh, and and then we're going to leave a little bit in the pot when we're done that's it so YouTube I'll see you in the next video and by all means if this is helpful to you guys please subscribe and give me a thumbs up see you in the next video